सो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू फार्मामेंट्स प्लेटफॉर्म आकाश वर्मा दिस साइड एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज फॉर यू दैट इज आई आई टी बी एच यू कट ऑफ एंड द कंपनीज दैट आर अप्रोचिंग द आई आई टी बी एच यू सो दिस वीडियो विल बी इन इंग्लिश बिकॉज मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव रिक्वेस्टेड टू मेक द वीडियो इन इंग्लिश ओनली सो आई वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द कट ऑफ नाउ मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव द डाउट ओके सो वट विल बी द मोड ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन सो फर्स्ट थिंग इट विल बी ऑफलाइन and when i say offline you have to visit iit bhu okay you have to visit iit bhu and then give the exam there and only the shortlisted candidates are being invited for that purpose i have already made a video uh, you can find i'll i'll just put the in the description box so that you can watch the video from there okay because many students have that doubts regarding iit bhu like like what is the procedure so and like fee payments and everything i have already made a video and i'll i'll make sure that i'll make uh, i'll mention the link in the description box so first thing is offline second thing there is no negative marking okay so that's a good thing there is no negative marking so you can just go out and attempt all the questions if you can do all the tukkas hai na so no negative marking is there now coming back to the most important question is that uh, you know what is the cut off so basically total marks are 100 and for open category that is unreserved category you have 70 marks cut off okay and in the case of ews category that is economically weaker section it's 66 that's uh, it's written here for obc category it's 58 marks for scst it's 40 marks okay so this is the cut off that you will be carrying now this is not fixed okay now like suppose you are going to give this exam 2023 and then you come okay sir uh, cut off was not 70 it, it was 65 so basically this cut off was of last year it can vary basically this is to give you idea okay the cut off can be 70 plus minus 10 okay cut off can be 60 also cut off can be 80 also but range is this okay so i hope you got the idea now the companies which are approaching or visiting the campus are there many company various companies but the data that i got uh, of these companies like these are the no core companies and the non core companies the non core companies are also known as consultancy companies consultancy companies so if you are confused what is the difference between core companies and non core companies so core companies which are the companies which are making the product like tablet capsule any uh, those such form that you are having right now or studying right now that are made by the core companies but in the case of the non core uh, non core companies sorry non core companies uh these non core uh, companies make the strategies strategies and there are various strategies involved okay so when a drug is being developed uh it is like <clears throat> it goes various stages like drug development then goes uh, through uh, clinical trials then you have uh, to commercialize the drugs so in order to do all these things you have to follow various strategies okay so these strategies are being made by the consultancy company first thing second thing the consultancy work is like uh, a company wants to launch a core company wants to launch a particular drug and for uh, that particular drug that cons uh, consultancy company will be providing data okay for your drug this many people are there in india okay so this is known as market size market size so basically consultancy is all about the strategy making okay and the core companies are actually making the products okay so there is lupin sun pharma very uh, well renowned companies of india Uh, Doctor uh, Re uh, Reddy Laboratories, Glenmark, Centus Pharma, Viatris. Okay, in non-core companies, IQVIA Pharma is New Sigma. There can be more companies also, but the data that I got are of these companies, and these companies are a huge attractive factor. Like you can you can go for these companies. You know they provide a good package. If I have if I have to give you estimate, the range of IIT BHU for the pharma pharma domain will be around six to fourteen lakhs. if not 14 then 13 for sure so this is the range of the packages that you are getting in i <clears throat> okay iit bhu sorry so i think you should go for that okay chalo so uh, i think you should uh, prepare for this exam and uh, you must be having gpat qualified in order to sit for this exam so all the best from my side go for the gpat thing and after if you have if you have qualified gpat and if you wish to get into itbhu then this is the exam that you should be aiming for thank you so much